What's the deal, family? Welcome back to the Realest Jacking Channel on YouTube. It's your boy Red Song. We here with another banger for y'all, man. So look, we got DUI suspect reaches for gun moments before Phoenix police officer shoots him. Okay, got a warning on this one. Following video contains graphic content. Maybe starting some views. Viewer discretion is advised. All right, uh, we gonna check this one out right here, man. Uh, some of you may know this, some of you may not, but I'm interested. I'm highly interested in videos like this, man. Um, dealing with police, crazy situations. Um, it's just real life situations right here. So we're going to check this video out. Uh, if you guys got more videos like this you want me to react to, check out, just get my thoughts and opinions on, let me know. Uh, I've been dead. I've been in fucking, I've had SWAT team bust up to, into the crib. I've damn near been killed by LAPD, talking shotguns, machine guns, 20 officers with guns pointed at me, you know, 30 officers with guns pointed at me, arrested, all types of shit, bro. Um, so that's why I like, I find these videos like this interesting because of my life experience. I've been through, I've been in situations where I damn near could have got popped. You know what I mean? Been to jail, been, been, uh, went to jail. I've been in whole, all types of shit, bro. So anyways... We just gonna check this video out. I'm gonna get my thoughts and opinions. If you guys like this and you guys wanna see more like this, hit that like button, subscribe, let me know in the comments, all that good stuff. Let's get to it though. Phoenix 911, what is the address of your emergency? It's East on Bell Road and Central. There okay. is a, a woman drinking like an open vodka bottle. She almost hit a pedestrian, two cars, and driving on the median, and she was driving at a high rate of speed. Okay, which direction? And you know? on the median. So she drinking. She drinking from the bottle. So she drinking a straight bottle, bro. Not like a mixed drink in the cup. This dude says she drinking an open vodka bottle. She got the handle just straight up, just down the hatch. Almost hit a person. She almost hit a person. She almost hit two cars. She was driving on the median. And she was driving fast. So she dangerous as hell, bro. I was just talking to one of my coworkers the other day, bro. Like, I'm telling them, like, bro, people get killed in cars. Like, I'm just careful. When, I'm super careful when I'm walking outside in public. Because people be getting hit. I live in LA. People be getting killed. All types of hit and runs, bro, that I've either seen was there right after, um, or heard about, et cetera. People that know people that, et cetera, been hit by cars and fucking damn near killed, damn near killed, hospitalized, all types of stuff. You gotta be careful. And there be people just drunk as fuck, just driving around that can just kill your ass and then take off and be gone. And ain't nobody there to help you. And then she was driving at a high rate of speed. Okay, which direction are you going? You said eastbound? Eastbound on Bell Road. She's eastbound at Third Street right now in a gray tundra. There's an AR right here. Toyota Tundra. He said there's an AR. Yo, my dude. So this this dude is passed out drunk in the back of his whip, windows down with an AR-15 sitting in there. I don't know where the AR is at in the whip, but it's in the truck, bro. And he's sitting there. The way his arm is just hanging and the way they moving and moving around him, he must be passed out. So not only did bro almost kill some people in the street, he was he he got so fucking drunk he pa he blacked out and passed the fuck out sleep in the back of his truck with the AR15 in the truck with the window down. So let's say somebody random could have walked up on that, grabbed the AR from the truck, popped him, then went who know and did who knows what. Just saying like that's just reckless, dog. That's mad reckless. How the fuck did he even park the car? <laughs> How the fuck he even parked the car, bro? Unless it was a girl driving and he was just getting drunk with her and she left the car and he stayed in it. Because I think they said the guy on the phone, I think he said it was a woman or something. 
I don't know, man. That's wild, though. How's it going? And step out of the vehicle for me, please. Any other weapons on you? No. All right. So it's a dude with long hair. Okay. Man, this shit, it's a lot going on. Turn around and just patch it down, make sure you have no weapons, all right? I know that I see multiple inside the vehicle there, so. Nothing inside your. Bro, I'm sorry. Look, I gotta say. They already got the call that he was drunk. Almost ran into people. Almost hit two cars. Driving on the median. He's passed out in his car with the AR-15 inside. If a black dude did that, that nigga would not be chilling there. If a nigga did that shit, bro, you think he's just gonna be chilling? Arm up on the fucking truck? Kicking it? He got an AR-15 in his fucking truck, too? And the cop is just gonna turn his back on this dude and walk away? While he's not in handcuffs? You haven't confiscated his guns? Imagine if a, if a nigga was doing this shit. Ain't no way this would happen. Bro would be handcuffed already. Back of the whip. Guns confiscated. Maybe guns pointed at him when they went up to the whip. It would have been a completely different situation in the story. You can say I'm... And tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying in the comments, please. I just want to see who you are. <laughs> ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. I promise you. I fucking promise you. Turned his back on. That dude could have ran right back into that whip. I know he got a backup. Probably got another partner somewhere. But you, I'm just saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. What I'm telling you. What I'll tell you. What I'll tell you. What I'll tell you. What I'll tell you. There was a nigga. Ain't no chance they gonna let him do that. Cause they think it's it's in his nature to do that. So they not gonna they're gonna make sure he can't do that. This but let some other dude do it. They expect the best of him while they expect the worst of another. Let alone, but at the end of the day, everybody's equal. Equal opportunity. <laughs> the nigga might do the shit, the nigga might not, but if you let him, you opening up that chance, bro. Get do not Ooh. Get do not Bro, he could have hit his he could have hit the other officer. That was a clean shot though. He's grabbing his gun. Man down. <laughs> Yo, who he thought he was fooling? If you gonna go for the gun, you better you better move quick, dog. You better at least move quick if you gonna go for it. Bro thought he was gonna casually walk up to the. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Yeah, what are you doing, bro? Oh, shit. Did he shoot him? Oh, it looked like that cop shot him. He's grabbing his gun. Man down. 998. Damn, so the other cops that he was grabbing on shot him. Damn. Hey man. He could have just got he could have he could have got a ticket and went to jail or whatever. But now he fucking I don't know. I hope he ain't dead. I'm sure he's still alive. I'm sure he's still alive, but he could have just went to jail, but he decided slow motion he wanted to grab his gun and now he got shot. Was it worth it? Probably not. You know what I'm saying? 
People just be doing stupid shit. Anyways, man, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, let me know how you feel in the comments if you guys want to see more videos like this, too. Um, definitely let me know. Follow me on the socials, all that good stuff. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Remember to keep it real. Real is rare. Real always reaches everyone. See y'all next time. Peace.